You're on board KCAA's Inland Talk Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM, the station that leaves no listener behind. Speaking of everything, this is AM 1050 KCAA. Hello and welcome to Let's Go Shopping with Bev. This show brought to you by Starfly and Entertainment. Music by Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band. Song title, Living in Paradise. Now here's Bev. Well, welcome to the show, everybody, and I am so glad you're back with us. And if you happen to see my post today, you are going to see that uh, this show is fully packed, and it's all about the holidays. Yes, the holidays. And we have Rhonda from Restless Designs. We have Grace from Studio 395. We're going to be talking to Gail Kelly from Annan's Linens. And the phone lines are going to be open. When I am talking to Gail from Anna's, the phone lines will be open. We are going to be asking two questions today. If you have the correct answer to them two questions, you can win a $25 gift card, yes, for next weekend on the 16th, next Saturday, we are going to be at the Redland store between 12 and 2, and we're getting ready for the holidays. And then after that, we're going to be talking to Teresa from Generation 3 Persis. Yes, and so, I, Joe... Is our board up? Hi, Joe. How you doing? Great. How are you? We're doing good. I see the lights are flashing. It looks like a Christmas tree. Who's on it? Well, I'm not <laughs> sure. I have, I have Grace Sandlin from Studio 395. I'm not sure that we have Rhonda yet. Oh, okay. Hi, Gail. Let's find out. Yeah. Gail, you there? I am. Hi, it's Grace. Hey, Grace. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you, Bev? We're doing good since I got off the freeway. I'll tell you, Lord have mercy. Uh, I, you know, I, I was just going to mention this. Now's a good time to mention it. If anybody is coming on the 10 freeway from Palm Springs on up and how the two freeway swings over to San Bernardino or the 215 swings over to Riverside, guys, there is a lineup of traffic. They are stopped on that bridge. I am not joking you. I had to wait in line forever before I could actually swing over to San Bedou to come into the station. So if you're going in that direction, find another route or have a good picnic basket with you and something to keep you occupied. So there you go. Yeah, so Grace, I'm so glad we have a chance to talk to you again. Um, last week we were talking to you about Studio 395. Now, let's review everything, um, and could you please tell everybody, what is Studio 395? Studio 395 is a collective. We're a nonprofit organization, a collective of artists that are doing good things for the community. We're bringing... Hello? Uh, we lost her for a second. We will get right back to, aha, the phone is a ding a ling That may be her. Is she there? All right, we have Rhonda now. We'll, oh. We'll work on getting Grace back. Okay. Hi, Rhonda. How you doing? Hi, hi there. I'm doing good. Okay, oh. hang on for a minute. Joe, okay. UPS is at the door. Okay. Don't you love this? <laughs> <laughs> Answer the door. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking to Grace, and unfortunately we lost her, and Joe is trying to get her back. Oh, good, yeah. Sounds like you're having a busy day, because it was busy a few times before I got through. Yeah, I know. It's just one of those days. You know, the closer to the holidays, the crazier it's going to get. Yeah, Miss Popular you are. (laughs) We all are, darling. We all are. Well, while we're waiting for Grace to come back on the line, uh, Rhonda, let's talk about your business for a little bit. You do, you're Restless Design. I am Restless Designs and also Restless the Graphics. So I do web and graphic design, but I also do um, digital art as well. Really? Really? Like I didn't know that. Now, would you like to explain to all of our listeners exactly what does that mean? Okay. Well, the web and graphic design part is I design websites, and I do it for people, small businesses, and even artists who want to share 
their art and even sell it if they'd like to. The rest was the graphic side of it. I have a website where I sell my own art, and it can be purchased in, um, you can buy prints or canvas prints, frame prints, and also greeting cards and um, things like that. Um, on the graphic design part, I design print work. As you know, I've created um, business cards and flyers and even a um, poster board for you. Yes, um, you did. Type, yeah, yeah, and that's the type of thing that I do. And the fun part of my business is that I love to get somebody's idea of what they are looking for, say, in a logo or or something, and take their idea and bring it to reality. And working on yours was one of the funnest ones I've done because, number one, trying to get two girls at either ends of the spectrum shopping and then having, you know, creating the Let's Go Shopping with Them logo uh-huh. and doing it the way you envisioned it um, was a lot of fun. So, and I, I think that I succeeded because you seem to be very happy with what I came up with. You did uh, do it exactly right, and you're right. We had a lot of fun doing that. How many phone calls and emails were flying back and forth oh, on yeah, this? Well, that was, that was quite a few, but that's, that's the whole point of it is I want my client to be happy. I want to do it, you know, the way they envision it, and when I succeed, it makes it just, you know, like a wonderful day for me. I am so happy, and you've been in this business for a long time, and you really know your stuff. And when all of the listeners know, when I recommend somebody and give them my stamp of approval, listen up, boys and girls, because I don't do this for everybody. So Mm -hmm. if you want something for the holiday, Rhonda, take it away. Talk about the holiday. Well, I mean, um, sometimes people, one of of my specialties, is old photo restoration. So if you have maybe some old photos, family pictures, or when your um, parents got married or something like that, I can restore those. Another thing that I do is photo collages. Um, something I did recently was for a couple with their, their 50th anniversary, and they gave me a photograph that they had shot of that and their original wedding photograph. And what I did is I, you know, made them compatibly in colors and so forth and collaged them so that they had a moment of the 50th party and the uh, celebration of when they got married. And so those are things that sometimes people want to do for their loved ones. And um, if they have anything like that in ideas or mind for gifts, let me know because that's another thing that I, that's another part of my services. And that's true. And as I was saying, boys and girls, Rhonda had my stamp of approval from the word go. I, I And I do my homework on everybody. So if I'm doing homework on you, heads up, you know. But the thing is, is everybody highly recommended her. I've seen all of her work. And when Rhonda and I got together, it it was like a partnership made in heaven. It really was. We just clicked. Yeah, we just clicked. We did. I like when that happens. It's like, um, you know, you meet somebody and you just form a bond. And, um, but that's not something that happens all the time. So it's a nice, rare, happy thing that came out of our original partnership. So. Yeah, and we became very good friends through the journey, which which is really fun, too. And, yeah. you know, I want to break in on something, Rhonda. Why well, I got you on the phone. Uh, I'm going to brag a little bit of, about Rhonda and I and Mia Mocha Johnson, her daughter Brianka Johnson, and Rich Z. We were, as everybody knows, we were invited to Jesse J, Jesse J Collections, when he did L.A. Fashion Week. Well, I was talking to Margie Miller. She's the head of the City News Group. And they wanted me to do an article on it. So I and some of the girls at at her office got together. And it's in today's newspaper. And I am telling you, Rhonda, I will send you one because I know it's kind of hard for you to get down to this neck of the woods. The article is 
absolutely fantastic, all about Jesse, about all of us. The photographs that Rhonda took are in this ad. And you will see, yeah, I I know you would be. And you can see some of her work. And she is absolutely terrific on all of this. So if somebody in our neck of the woods that is in the area of Colton, Loma Linda, Redlands, Marino Valley, and San Bernardino, and if I forgot somebody, I'm truly sorry, but go to your local newspaper pick up place, wherever it is, get the city news, and you can read this article, you can see the photographs, and I'm trying my darnest to get Jesse to come back on with us next week, and so I do have the paper here in my hand, I will send it to you in tomorrow's post, you should have it by Tuesday, because Monday they're closed, yes, yeah, so it's, you know, it's, it's really going to be fun, and then the other thing, too, is... To get back to the photographs that you take, mm-hmm. yeah, let's go a little bit more in depth about that. Okay. What do you want to know? How, when you get this idea, you're out and about and you see things, how do you get the idea to do these different photographs? Well, you know, sometimes I just shoot photos of items that I think, that's kind of neat, that's different, that's cool. It's almost like... um Someone who puts together ads and things use stock art. So what I like to do is I like to shoot my own stock art, which means I may not use it right when I get it, but I put it in a folder. And then if I'm creating a piece of art or something later, I think, oh, this this would fit in with what I'm working on. And so I'll go back and pull some items out of my stock art that I've shot because I – I do, I create some fantasy art and, and things with fractals and so forth. And so sometimes an idea will start with one, you know, one thing uh, and then go off into something else. So if you see me shooting photos, it's usually because if I don't have an idea right, net, right then, I will at another time. So that's what I do with those. That is so cool. And, yeah. you know, the holidays are coming, and all of, we're all telling everybody, think outside the box this year. Don't do the same old, same old. And yeah. then with everything that Rhonda does with the business cards and, and the flyers and the website and the Twitter, and it goes on and on and on, and the photographs and everything, give her a call. Bump out your uh, phone number, darling. My number is 951 8757, and you can check out my work at, um, I have a website where it's available to look at and even for sale if you're interested in purchasing, and it's restlessd.com, and that's spelled R-E-S-T-L-E-S-S, and the letter D is in dog, dot com. My website design business I have a listing of all of my current web clients. You can see the work that I've done for other people. And that's RestlessDesigns.com, just like it sounds. And there you go, and start thinking about this. Right, and also talking about things, since we lost uh, Grace somewhere along the line here, Mm -hmm. uh, let's pick up Studio 395. You were telling me earlier that you are having an annual fundraiser here pretty soon. Yes, yes. Now, I don't have the details right in front of me, but you can find out the information about this fundraiser that's coming up. It's called Artitini, and that's just like it's like Martini, but Artitini. And it's a, going to be a really nice event. It's going to be held at a beautiful home, and it's actually a dinner, and um, there's going to be art being shown there, and it's December 8th, and as I said, I don't have all the details in front of me, but if you go to www.studio395.org,